Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a, another video today. This video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do here on my channel, but I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So I have here some Love Every products that I'm going to be showing you guys and reviewing for you. I know that I myself have looked into Love, of, Love Every previously. Um, I know a few of my friends that have. I actually even had somebody reach out to me on Instagram um, when they saw this box and one of my pictures and want to know what I thought about it. So I'm going to tell you guys all of the details right now. So if you don't know what Love Every is, it is actually a um, age themed box that you can get for your little one. And then in addition to boxes, they also have like other products and other toys and like tunnels and stuff like that that you can get for your kids. Um, the prices of the boxes vary based on the age of your child. The box that I got, which um, was for months 22, 23, and 24, um, retails for $120. And I'm gonna let you guys know if I think that it is worth it today because that is a pretty steep price. I feel like if I saw that price and had never tried Love Every before, I might feel, I might be resistant to like just giving that a shot because that's a lot of money to spend if you don't know what the product is like. So I got you covered. I'm going to show you today. So they, Love Every actually reached out to me and they did send me the box for 22 23 and 24 months um, and this is what the box looks like it is huge absolutely huge and then when you take or lift this top part up it shows you everything that you get in the box and then everything is sort of laid out like that and I'm actually gonna flip the camera around and give you guys a closer look and we'll actually show you how everything works as well with Finley playing with it, the toddler that it is intended for. So that is the first thing they sent me. And then they also sent me a box. <laughs> no, this is actually a play tunnel that Finley and I'm assuming Kylie and Bryson as well can like run through and play through. And um, I've always actually wanted one of these. So I was pretty excited when they wanted to send it to me. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead, take a look at the box more up closely and then see how everything works. All right, so like I mentioned, this is what the box looks like. On the inside there, it says, designed by experts for your toddler's developing brain. Um, and like I mentioned, this is the box that is for months 22, 23, and 24. And they call it a play kit. So when you open it up here, it shows everything and this is like Montessori type things and then up here it tells you the different boxes that they offer so they do it starts at a year so months 13 14 15 16 17 18 um, 19 20 21 and then the one we have and they are named the babbler the pioneer the realist and the companion so I thought that was that was fun so yeah, there has a barrel buckle, Graham turns two, that's a little book, a chunky wooden puzzle, mosaic button board, that looks pretty cool, transfer tweezers and felt stars and basket, a wooden posting stand, and then Montessori animal match with a drawstring bag. So I think it's cool that they sort of lay out everything that is in here. And then this is what it looks like you know, when you just initially open um, the bag up. So I'm assuming they, you know, open and close and there's different types of buckles there. And then we, here we have some tweezers. I bet Finley is going to love this one where they just sort of pick it out. That is the puzzle. This looks like the wooden um, peg stand the, that you hammer on. There's something in the bag. Oh, so that's the matching game is in there. And then... Graham turns to, there is so much stuff in here. Oh, so this is a play guide. So we'll open this up in a minute and take a look at that. And then, yep, safety warnings. And then the mosaic button board. And I don't know if there's anything in this box. Yeah, there is. I don't know what that could be. 
but there's something in there and we will open it up and take a look at it. But let's see, trying to do this one handed, if we can take a look at the play guide. Let me open this up. Okay, so it says it has ways to play, expert tips, at home activities. And so it gives you a little um, like suggested guideline, um, like when over the months to introduce which things. So right now by this, we would probably introduce the first few to Finley and then like these ones closer to her second birthday, which is in March. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, so this is a really cute, oh, so it kind of tells you, you know, it's, it's got a nice little story time. I really like this. I like that it's going to, um, you know, explain to you what to do with it, how to use it, you know, milestones that they're supposed to be reaching, you know, saying or using 50 words, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, just telling you all about your toddler at these, at that age. And then it starts talking about all of the toys and what you can use it for. So we are definitely going to be taking a closer look at this book. I think that's a nice little thing to include. I didn't know that that was in there, but that can definitely be very helpful in um, like making sure we're playing with our kids in the right developmental way, I guess. So Without further ado, we're gonna get Finley in here and start playing with some of this stuff and open this tunnel up because I know that all the kids are excited to play with that tunnel. Which one you wanna play with first? Uh, you wanna look at these? So I opened up this box and these are actually, oh, I'm gonna give it to you. Little animal figures. Look at the doggy. Whoa, so there's a dog. A little cow, a lion, and these are pretty heavy duty. Um, like solid, yeah, dog dog. What's the doggy say? A monkey, a pig, and then there is a little cat. You say cat? So I think what you're supposed to do with these is actually use them in the matching game um, to find the cowl, so all of these are like nice wooden pieces. So I think you're supposed to match the animal to the cow. Hey, Finley, can you find this one? Where is it? Look, where's the doggy? You show mommy the doggy? That's a lion. Lion? Where's the doggy? Where? Right there? So I think she's still a little bit too young for this one, but this one is really cute. And I think that she will definitely enjoy this um, and will definitely help her learn all of her animals. Go ahead and do, I think the wooden pegs, because I think she'll really like that. So come here, Finley, look, look, can you put that one in there? Okay. Good job. What about this one? Yeah, and then there's some bigger ones. So there's smaller pegs and then bigger pegs. Um, oh, what? Good, good job. Look, here's big ones. Whoa. So there's some small ones and then some bigger ones for them to put in the holes. You like this one? You put it in there? Put it in there. Good job. And the smaller one? So this is actually what is suggested to introduce to them first which makes perfect sense because it's the one that she is figuring out the easiest. And then it says to do the Montessori animal match. So this one? Yeah. Good job. You wanna try on something, try something else? Try this. So we're just gonna go in order based on what it says. Look, Finley. Can you buckle them? Look, 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 look. Can you do that? Let's see if she can figure out how to buckle it. Yeah, buckle. What? You're thinking about it, huh? So this one I think she is definitely gonna be able to do because she's trying really hard and, 
And good job. You need help? Uh, Look. Okay. You want to try another one? Uh, so far, I'm absolutely loving everything that she's tried out. <gasps> Yay! Good job! And I think that, like, I'm really impressed with all of this stuff so far. You want to try another one? Look. Right there. The next thing in line is the tweezers. So she's just supposed to squeeze and pull them. Oh, this is kind of hard to do. <laughs> Maybe we need to take a couple out. I think they're stuck in there. So, you know, just kind of pick them up with the tweezer and see if she can do that. Look. You wanna try this? Huh? She really likes the belt buckle. Boop. All right, she has the tweezers. We'll see if she actually does it. You wanna get it? Try get it. Not with your fingers, with the tweezers, silly girl. You wanna try? No? Okay. Well. Let's see if you're interested in another. What? Let's see what this is. So this is a really good size, big wooden board. Whoa! So I think she's really gonna like this one. And then it comes with, what? Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna figure how to get it back on there. Look, I'm not sure that she'll be able to sort it by color yet because I think you are supposed to do it that way. But look. Can you try? You put it in there. <gasps> turn it back this, turn it over the other way. There you go. You put it in the hole. <gasps> Yay! <gasps> I knew when um, I opened it up and saw that this, this was included, that this would be her favorite thing. Oh. Good it's job! So Let's put the tweezers back with the stars. Cool. All right, what else? Can you do some more? Yeah. Uh-huh. Good job. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a fan favorite. No. Ooh. But we're gonna move along because we have a couple more things. You wanna see this? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, oh no, you wanna play this. So, um, the next thing, she's gonna keep playing with the buttons, I think. The next thing is just this really chunky puzzle. You wanna try this? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. No? Oh, you want the buttons back, okay. Um, and this is the second to last thing that you're supposed to introduce. Um, and I'm not sure that she would be able to figure this out yet, but I do like that it is so big and so chunky and that they would be able to, you know, manipulate it in several different ways. You pretty much can connect it into a square, you know, anywhere you go. So it's a good like first puzzle for a kid, for sure. So, oh, we're just stuck on the puzzle or on the buttons, right? I've never seen um, a toy like this one before. So like it is 100% worth it just for this thing, I think. This is a perfect idea for a toddler, for sure. Oh. Yeah. My goodness, you got so many new toys. And then the last thing in the box is just the Graham Turns 2 book. Finley loves to read, so I know that she will love this so much. Um, and it talks about like colors and all types of stuff. And it's a really like, um, a cute little book. So I like that they included that as well. So guys, let me move you up here so you can see me. Yeah, we're going to open that. I 100% would pay $120 for it. Um, this especially is amazing. Like this is such an amazing toy. She has put all of these in herself. I only did that one for her. And then the next best thing, I mean, well, the wooden pegs is great. Like she loved this one and figured out how to do it pretty quickly. And the same thing with the buttons. She would have sat there and just kept doing that. Okay. Okay. Here you go. She loves, there you go. There you go. You can have it. She loves all of this stuff so far, so far, but I'm going to go ahead and get the tunnel out. We're going to put all this stuff away. I'm going to get the tunnel out and I'll show you guys what that looks like as well. But so far I am team love every, like 
100% for sure loving this stuff. So let's get this stuff put away and get the tunnel out and I'll show that to you guys. Okay. Okay. So that's what the tunnel looks like. When I open it, it says playtime essentials with just the right amount of nerdy, which is so cute. I love how they package everything with this super, like, like how neat is that? And then this is actually a picture of the kid, of a kid in the tunnel. So I think that's super cute. And then when I pull it out, it actually comes in a little carrying case, which is super convenient for cleanup, but I have a feeling we're just gonna be leaving this out. And then it has a zipper to open it. And then once you pull it out, it's actually got these little clasps here. Finley is over in the corner playing with all of her toys that I just put over there. And then I think you can just unclasp it and it'll pop. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's popping already. And it'll pop into, yeah, did you just see what I had? All right, let's move the box, guys. Okay, <laughs> she's already trying to get in it. Okay, go ahead. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> she knew exactly what to do. And she is <laughs> having the best time. Let me show you guys. What are you doing in there? Did you get a tunnel? <laughs> you got to crawl through it. Crawl through. <laughs> so it's pretty long and I love that I <laughs> I love that I can clean it up and I think she's going to love having this. And this one I believe was $40. It was either 40 or 60. Um, I can find out for sure and put it on the screen here. I think Kylie's going to try and get in the tunnel too. Um, but this one, I definitely, I really like this one. I think that Kylie and Finley and even Bryson will have a lot of fun with this. And I like, again, that I can put it away in the carrying case or take it on vacation with us or whatever. <laughs> and it's cloth, so I'm pretty sure we can wash it as well if it gets dirty. Um, although it has this like pop-up wire. So I don't know. I'll have to research that a little bit, but I'm really glad that they sent me this as well because <laughs> Finley is loving it. Right? Mm -hmm. Say bye. 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 Say thanks for watching. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because I think everybody wants to play with all the new toys. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, thank you to Love Every for sending me this stuff to try out. And I hope you guys got um, a good idea about what Love Every is like from this full review. I am I am Team Love Every, like I said. I will have a link to their website down in the description if you want to give it a try yourself. Um, sorry, it's loud in here. <laughs> They're all very excited. But um, yeah, what? Bubba's in there? I'll have a link in the description for you to check it out. We have all of the stuff over here. Um, and yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. Thank you again to Love Every, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.